good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel and happy sunday it is such an autumnal weekend this weekend it feels really really transitional today i woke up this morning we've got a little bit of sunshine a little bit of cloud it's quite a blustery day so it's like blowing the clouds quite quickly and when i woke up this morning there was such a chill to the air i was just like oh it's coming autumn is coming and i woke up in such a good mood this morning because i gave myself the most amazing pamper last night if you watched the end of my last video you would have seen the gorgeous new pixie pieces that i unboxed and i'm not gonna lie to you i used the eye patches last night and these are absolutely incredible they always look so funny because it's like these little green patches under your eyes and especially when I take up my contacts and I have my glasses on, you kind of can't spot it straight away. So when I came downstairs after my bath yesterday, Alex almost did like a double take and he was like, why have your glasses gone green? And he realised I had the eye patches on, but I used those and I used the spray. And oh my god, absolutely incredible. So had a lovely evening last night. We ordered a takeaway. We had a really, really cosy night in. And I feel like I am so late to this bandwagon. But Alex and I last night started watching The Traitors the traitors uk which i think came out about this time last year and i'm not gonna lie to you i'm really really bad when it comes to like keeping up with series is. i am not a binge watcher in the slightest i don't enjoy binge watching something i'm someone that's like i like to be productive with my time i like to like do things and like especially in the evening i'll usually do a bit of work or like a bit of gardening or it's very very rare for me to like sit down and binge watch a series it drives alex nuts because the most i can usually watch in an evening is like two episodes but oh my gosh, The Traitors, we watched, I think, five episodes last night, maybe four episodes. I'm hooked. I'm absolutely hooked. And I realise I am so late to this bandwagon because it literally came out like, I think it was about this time last year. But I'm not going to lie to you, as well as not being very good at keeping up with things, I'm also someone that doesn't like it when something's like overhyped or like... Like, you know, pieces that go viral, let's say like the Zara bomber jacket, it really puts me off it when too many people talk about it or too many people are obsessed with it. And I listen to a lot of the radio. I'm such an odd woman. I love BBC Radio 2. It's like my favourite radio station. I can tell you every single radio host that's on at each time of the day. Like, I know at like, I think it's half nine, Vernon Kay's going to come on. We're going to have the 10 to the top quiz at some point. Like, I love listening to the radio, especially if I'm just like pottering about or doing things. And I'm not going to lie they kind of ruined it for me all of the bbc2 radio hosts because it is hosted by claudia winkleman who is an icon of a woman i absolutely love her i'd love to be her best friend i feel like she'd just be so much fun and she hosts the traitors and she's also a radio 2 host on a saturday morning and i think because obviously all of the radio 2 hosts you know they become like a bit of a family on there because they were obviously so proud of her for it every single bbc radio 2 host spoke about the traitors talked about the traitors promoted the traitors discussed the traitors and it actually kind of had the reverse effect on me and really put me off like i just really didn't want to watch it because they were all talking about it and i was sick of hearing it i was just like oh my goodness me and it wasn't until alex and i were looking for something to watch last night and it was actually in one of zoe's vloggers videos i was going back and like just had them on the background when i was like doing all of my unpacking yesterday and i was like doing all of the washing and she commented on the australia's us the australia's us the traitors australia that's what i meant to say the traitors australia and she was talking about how amazing the show is and i was like you know what maybe i should give it a try let's just see what it's like if it's rubbish we'll turn it off after half an episode so i said to alex let's just give it a try last night because there wasn't really any films that were calling us and we just didn't really know what we wanted to watch so we put it on and I am hooked, like binge watching hooked, which as I said, I am not a binge watcher. And it's really weird because it's such a simple process. Like I've been explaining it to people this morning. FaceTime my mom this morning said, you need to watch it. Chatted to my sister last night. I was like, you need to watch it. And it's like such a simple thing. Like when I explain it to people, basically they've got to complete challenges. They're in a castle in Scotland. Um, and there's three people that are the traitors. They don't know how many traitors there are, only you know. There's three people who are traitors. That's basically their job to murder people in the evenings. And they were like, right. So do they have to like sabotage the like, um, you know, the, the tasks that they've got to do? I was like, no, 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 they just murder people. They were like, right. So they've got to like do it in front of people. Is that like a really like, you know, they've got to be really clever. I'm like, no, no, 
they just murder people and it's like it's so simple like it's it's like a giant game of kind of cluedo almost where like you're trying to work out who the murderer is and oh my god it gets so intense it's really interesting from like a psychological viewpoint i did psychology at a level and always was really interested in it i love looking into like human behavior a lot of my degree that i did was kind of about like sociology and culture and so i find this kind of thing so interesting and all I have to say is that if you've not watched it, if you're like me, you've been living under a rock and you haven't watched The Traitors, you need to watch it now. And it's actually quite funny because everyone that I speak to, I feel like I've got hair there, I do. Everyone that I speak to, that I say, oh my goodness, I've started watching The Traitors. People that have never watched it are kind of like, hmm, that sounds a bit weird. Everyone that's watched it is like, oh my God, it's amazing, isn't it? I haven't met a single person that's like, yeah, I tried it and it's not very good. Every single person that watched it is obsessed with it. So I have a feeling we're gonna be binge watching a lot more of it today because it's absolutely fabulous and also scotland and castle scotland and castle what is wrong with me this morning a castle in scotland right up mine and alex's street i mean we got engaged in scotland you know that edinburgh is our favorite place in the world and the fashion oh my god i feel like we're watching it the right time of year now that we're coming into autumn and i want to be wearing like capes and coats and boots because the fashion that claudia winkleman is wearing i am obsessed with every single outfit she comes out with them i'm obsessed obsessed and Alex turned to me and was like what are you not obsessed with there was one outfit that she wears was like mm, not so keen on that it's more of like a fitted blazer and I was like mm, I'm kind of over fitted blazers but like the capes the tartan the coats the boots the leggings oh my god what a woman what a woman so yes we spent a lot of our evening at binge watching that last night and it is safe to say that I am absolutely hooked <laughs> Speaking of fashion, I'll show you today's outfit of the day because as I said, it's a really cozy Sunday and I've literally just gone minimal effort and minimal styling. I'm not gonna lie, I actually took ages to decide what to wear today because it's weird weather. It's still about like mid 20, so it's not quite like autumnal clothing, but I don't really wanna be wearing like my summery dresses. I just wanted to wear something really cozy and really easy today. And I realized that this was the perfect little piece to put on. So I've got the new little Holland Cooper knit, which I actually realized in my last vlog, I didn't show you what it looked like on. So this is what it looked like. I think I got it in a large. Now you can obviously size up or size down depending on the fit that you want. I wanted it to be a little bit looser on me so that I can wear it a little bit more casually. I have had some knits in the past where they've been very tight, like very like figure hugging and they're lovely, but I wanted this one to be a little bit more I don't know undone I feel like it's the best word to describe it um it's got this gorgeous little kind of like um button detailing so I've matched my jewelry with some gorgeous little gold hoops to style up with these you'll notice I'm wearing my um watch a lot more now as well I feel like ever starting my ambassadorship with lanes I've kind of fallen back in love with watches and it just reminds me how easy they are to style like as you can see I've not got any bracelets on or anything today but it's really nice just to have a lovely simple watch so my vintage inspired watch which obviously is silver but you know matches the platinum ring so that's fine um and then I'm just styling it up with this gorgeous little pair of loose wide leg trousers these ribbed trousers now I did initially tuck it in but then I untucked the top and I was like you know what kind of loving that like loose flowy silhouette you guys know this this summer I fell in love with a smock silhouette and actually I feel like I'm really leaning towards looser styles and looser silhouettes at the moment I feel like I don't always need to be super feminine super cinched and super like silhouette sometimes it's really nice just to be a little bit looser and a little bit more casual um, and then to finish off the look we've got the Uggs back out my Ugg slippers I feel like it's officially that time of year and officially that season so the Ugg slippers have come out to play so a super simple cozy Sunday look kind of loving it kind of obsessed with it and I definitely need one of every colour in these little turtlenecks. So, speaking of cosy clothing, I feel like this order could not have arrived at a more perfect time, especially speaking of like going into autumn, wanting some more like cosy pieces, and also the fact that I couldn't decide what to wear today these would have been perfect and I won't lie when they first arrived I was like what is this because it's just arrived in like the weirdest little like grey kind of like packaging so I opened it started unboxing and then was like oh that's what it is we need to open these up together properly because I ordered these off Amazon a couple of weeks ago they did take a little while to arrive which is why I'd kind of like forgotten about them you know when you order something it's a few weeks for delivery and you kind of just like lose it out of your mind so that's why I had no idea what this was but I bought them a couple of weeks ago after seeing someone talking about them on Instagram and I will leave them linked down below because I feel like these are the perfect cozy at home sets and you know what I'm like if I like it I'll just get it in another color so I've got not one not two 
but three different colorways in these and i'm really hoping that i got the right size and it is these gorgeous little knitted sets and i'm gonna have to show you these on because they are absolutely gorgeous and i am so so excited to style them up they're these really cute little kind of almost totem inspired knitted sets that is like a little top and then it also comes with a pair of wide leg trousers and you know i've spoken about this loads but when it comes to cozy styling trying to decide what to wear i'm not a joggers girl i'm a loose wide leg trouser girl hence the trousers that i'm wearing today i just find them so much more comfortable and yet still super flattering like they look they give rich mum vibes. I feel like that's why I love them so much. But it has this really cute little detailing. So I got the black with the little kind of like white, um, like cuffs. I don't know what to call them. It's like a trimming to them. So it has it at the bottom of the trousers and then also on the sleeves of the top. And I just thought it was so, so cute. And I loved the fact that the top was like quite loose, quite kind of like cozy, but not too like fitted vibes. Um, and it's almost got this like bat wing kind of silhouette to it. So I thought it was absolutely perfect. So we got the black. We also got it in a camel colour, which uh, I feel like this could not be any more perfect for autumn. I mean, look at that colourway! Now, in terms of material, they're not like super expensive, so they're definitely not going to be like a really fancy material. They're not, um, you know, like cashmere or anything like that. They're just kind of like this really lovely, like loose jersey fabric, but I really loved the colourway of the camel as well. I loved the fact that it was more of like an almost creamy colour to the trim, and I just like so so cute so again you've got that kind of like high neckline it's not like a roll neck but it's not too kind of like loose or anything it's just like a really lovely crew neck i think that is called um and then we've got the trousers again which i absolutely adore so obviously had to get the camel as well and we're not done there i also picked it up in cream i just couldn't help myself and i loved the contrast of the cream i just thought it was so so cute so it's kind of the opposite of the black one you've got the cream color with a black trim and i just thought it was so gorgeous i mean look at that how cute is that i loved the colorway this is probably the one that i'm going to reach for the least but i feel like let's say that you're going to have like your girlfriends around you're having a movie night and i do feel like as a host sometimes it's really really difficult when you're doing like a cozy night at home what to wear i feel like this would be the perfect outfit because it's still really cute and cozy but slightly elevated like i just think it is so so cute so love that so that came with the top and trousers again and i really liked the fact that they all came together so i believe i picked them up in a medium which looking at that waistline it's looking very small but i do think it's going to have a lot of stretch to it so i'm hoping that they're going to fit perfectly in size when i went through like the size guide it said like a 10 to 12 was like a medium it's really unsure whether to do a medium or whether to size up to a large but i'm hoping the medium is going to fit perfectly but as i said what a better delivery to have arrived like i kind of wish they had arrived last night because i would have just stuck one of those straight on today for my outfit but I'm still loving this. I'm really, really loving it. I feel like it's just the perfect vibe for today. But if you're looking for some really cute, like cozy at home loungewear that still looks really elevated, still looks really beautiful, I will leave these all linked down below because they're Amazon. They are super affordable. But as I said, couple of weeks for delivery. So you probably want to order them now because the weather's only going to start getting colder. Okay, black one first. And you've got to let me know what you think. I'm not going to lie size wise. I'm not sure if I should have gone up to a large. I just feel like when it comes to like loungewear, I always like it to be really loose. And as a girl with a big bum and big thighs, they're not as like wide legs I'd want them to be. Like they're kind of fitted on the thighs and i would want them a little bit looser but then the top is like the perfect size it's one of the few difficulties when it comes to like buying a set when it's like one set together sometimes i get annoyed when pieces they sell them like separately but then i do kind of get the logic of that because it means that you can like tailor i would have definitely got a medium on top but i probably would have gone for a large on bottom so i'm not sure whether to keep this size or return it and exchange it for a large let me know your thoughts i love how it looks though. i think they're really really cute like i love the fact that they've got the little slit on the sleeve love the fact that they're like short sleeve but kind of almost like three quarter length and they have this like drop shoulder which i always find super flattering just makes them like really cash um and the kind of um trim is super flattering as well so i do love them I'm just not sure if i should have sized up one size but this is the black one and then the beige which i'm trying these all on with my slippers because let's be honest that is how i'm gonna wear them i feel like the beige is showing more that maybe i should have sized up to a large oh it's so annoying it needs a little bit of an iron but it's just the cutest thing like they're really soft and really stretchy fabrics so i just want it to be a little bit looser and a little bit more oversized oh my goodness i actually think it's like creamy color is kind of a bit of an unsung hero I was expecting the camel to be my favourite, but this is just really 
cute. I just love the contrast. Again, needs a little bit of a steam, a little bit of an iron, but it's just so like cozy and loose and I just love the like knitted fabric. It's really lightweight knit, but it's going to keep you really nice and cozy. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Do you think I should size up to a large? The more I'm looking at them, the more I'm like, I just feel like a large would be a little bit cozier. So take this as your word of warning. If you're unsure about sizes, size up because they're super like small fitted, but then they do actually like stretch loads. So I feel like it's much better to go one size up than one size too small. But oh, they are just the coziest things in the world. I feel like they are just gonna be what I live in at the weekends throughout autumn, winter. So we are in the cart now because we've decided to head into Winchester today, seeing as though it is such a beautiful day. As I said, sunshine with cloud. It keeps going in and out. It's a little bit breezy, but it really does feel like that kind of like end of summer transitional weather that you just want to make the most out of. Um, so we're heading into Winchester today. We thought it'd be nice to have a lovely Sunday lunch in Winchester. It's one of my favourite places to go. And it might be a good time to start doing a little bit more autumnal shopping. Um, so you know autumnal is coming when the Pochette Matisse is out. I thought it should be the perfect bag to wear today. So starting at the Pochette Matisse with the all black outfit. Alex is looking gorgeous. He's got some little Levi shirt on, which I absolutely love on you. I love how you've done your hair today. You've done a little party. Thank you. It looks very, very cute. I thought as soon as they were going to Winchester, I would do the Winchester. <laughs> the uh, Winchester. Um, so yes, we're going to have a lovely lunch out in Winchester and just enjoy the day. is just through there through the trees um so it's really lovely just to like go out for a walk and as you can see it is bustling everyone is making the most of the end of summer sun thank you so much sorry drinks have just arrived i ordered a little strawberry cooler to enjoy and um, yeah we've come to the giggling squid which i opened not that long ago here in winchester and i've heard some really really good things about it there was one in birmingham my brother and his girlfriend used to go all the time they always raved about it so we've come for lunch we're thinking like maybe a little pad thai, a little sticky chicken, um, a little Thai restaurant and how it's nice to love our Thai food. So, a lovely lunch out in the sunshine.
got myself a whipped iced coffee from Costa. They're not doing them anymore because obviously it is autumn now. So I asked him, I was like, don't suppose you're still doing the whipped iced coffees? And he was like, don't tell anyone. I mean, I'm not telling all of you, but don't tell anyone, but I'll do you one. So I just got myself a whipped iced coffee because it's still warm. And I do feel like September, as much as I'm very excited about the pumpkin spice lattes, I'm not quite ready for it just yet. So I'm going to still enjoy my little whipped iced latte with vanilla. Oh, the best one. So we just got back from Winchester now, and I wanted to show you my little present that Alex got me. We were having a little look around um, anthropology and he literally was like, which is your favorite? I'm gonna get it for you. And they had loads of cute little bits in for awesome winter. And I've been eyeing up these mugs for ages because they do them like every single year. They kind of do like different patterns and colorways. And this was our favorite, wasn't it, babe? We absolutely love that. Oh, them. totally. Like, I am in complete agreement that that was our favorite. That is totally You our sound so favorite. sarcastic right now. You were the one that was like, this one's the cutest. This is totally our favorite. <laughs> I literally, nothing else matters other than deciding our favorite <laughs> in anthropology. I think it's adorable. It's a little puppy. Oh my god, how cute is this? So yeah, Anthropology do these every single year and this year they have an orange one, they've got a plain black and a plain white. What else did they have? They had a couple of other colours, but this one I fell in love with. It's like a really gorgeous kind of like berry colour. It's got the berry handle and then the like autumn leaves running through it and I'm so excited to have my morning tea out of this. I mean, is this not just the cutest thing you have ever, ever seen? I'm not gonna lie, it's actually really restrained because they had so many gorgeous pieces in Anthropology, in The White Company, in um, Oliver Bonus. Like they all had their new autumnal homeware coming in and it's making me really, really excited for cozy season. But yeah, Alex got me a little gift whilst we're out today and I'm in love with it. Good morning everyone. My goodness me, am I looking shiny today. It is the next morning now and I feel like yesterday I was really epitomizing autumn. I was looking like really transitional, love the little roll neck with my arms out. I was really, really embracing the autumn vibes and today I feel like I've gone full back into summer mode. But if that doesn't like epitomize the transitional period here in the UK, then I don't know what does. I didn't bring any powder with me to the gym this morning, so I'm just putting my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Press Powder on um, because I spend the morning in the gym. Um, had a really, really lovely start to my day. I really love Mondays now. I feel like I've gotten myself into a bit more of a routine with regards to my weeks. It's really funny. I feel like sometimes it can be really easy to like slip out of routines. And then sometimes, especially I think when I'm traveling, I really, really try and stick to my routine. So that I know that like Monday is Monday, Tuesday is Tuesday. Like last week was so bizarre because I went, like obviously came back from France, went straight to the Burley Horse Trials, which was on a Friday and then was vlogging on Saturday, which I don't always do. And vlogged on Sunday actually. I kind of feel like I haven't like had a normal Friday, Saturday, Sunday, like a normal weekend. Like obviously it felt like a Monday for me when I like came back from work and kind of like came back from France and went straight into like work mode. Um, despite the fact that I was still working in France, I feel like, you know what I'm like, I just don't stop working. Um, but anyway. I feel like this week, I really just want to like get back into the swing of things, get back into work mode, because I do have a really, really busy week this week before I head off on another trip, which is really, really exciting, but I just want to get back into a bit more of a routine. And Monday mornings for me are kind of like movement mornings. I call them now Monday movement mornings. So whether that's a walk, the gym, a swim, I always like to just kind of like get out, get my face in some sunshine and get moving. It really, really is so important for me just to kind of like get outside every single day, especially first thing in the morning. I feel like it really, really helps, especially now that it is getting a lot darker, a lot sooner in the evenings and a lot later in the mornings. It is now officially dark when I wake up which sucks. <laughs> I really, really hate it when it's like that's the second the sun starts rising and I see a little bit of daylight. I like to just kind of like have a little wander around the garden, have my morning tea and just get that like fresh air. I feel like it's really, really lovely to get it. Um, and yeah, I really love just like having that kind of like movement. Um, and the Mondays are mainly kind of like admin days for me. So I feel like they're a little bit more chill. Obviously I'm vlogging today, but I don't always vlog on a Monday because I just kind of like to like get my head down and crack on. I usually have a meeting with my manager. I like to check in with my assistant 
consistent and just kind of like make sure that everything's like running smoothly for the week ahead. I like to do all of my like, like to know it edits. Um, I'll usually write my newsletter for the week, which if you don't know, I have a newsletter that goes out every single Friday, just kind of like updating on the week. I say every single Friday. This summer, I've not been the best at keeping on top of it, but when I can, it just kind of like gives you all of the updates, current discount codes that I have going on, some exciting things that are happening, um, events, news, outfit roundups, like holiday roundups, things like that. So um, I will leave a link to subscribe to the newsletter down below just to make sure that you don't miss anything. So I know that sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming having so many different platforms. Like obviously there's YouTube, there's Instagram, there's TikTok, there's the blog. And then like, I feel like the newsletter is almost like a combination of it all and just kind of like giving you just like a nice, bite-sized version of everything and just kind of like rounding it all up at the end of the week so I really like uploading the newsletter on a Friday because I feel like it's just like a really lovely way to end the week so that is what I have planned today it's just going to be a nice chilled Monday and as I said I feel like I've gone full into summer mode because we have a heat wave here in the UK which is lovely it's really really nice but my goodness me it's actually like as hot here as it was when I was in the south of France and I feel like a lot of people have gone into autumn mode like I am very much ready for autumn I actually have a few more bits to show you some new autumnal pieces that I'm adding into my wardrobe that I'm really really excited about but I'm gonna go downstairs make myself my morning coffee and then we can crack on with the day so I've just come downstairs to make myself my iced coffee and I'm not gonna lie to you, after having that whipped iced coffee at Costa, I was gonna say Starbucks, no, Costa, yesterday, it's really put me in the mood for a whipped iced coffee and I kind of wanna do another one at home. I'm not gonna lie, I've not actually tried it since doing it with you guys a couple of weeks ago with the food presser and it didn't fully work in the food processor. So I've got out the nutri bullet sorry it makes a little sounds like a little octopus because it's got these sucky bits at the bottom but i've got the nutri bullet out which is much more of like a proper like blender juicer mixer whatever you want to call it um and i thought that we could try and make it in this because i'm very aware now that we are in september like i know the guy was really lovely to do it for me yesterday but i don't think everyone's gonna be like that i don't think everyone's gonna be kind of like willing to do me one so if i can make one at home then i feel like that is just winning at life and especially as we're getting into september i can kind of like personalize it a little bit more they just did vanilla and i don't think they use an actual um vanilla syrup like this i think they use more of like a sauce because it's all like kind of gathered at the bottom you've really got to like mix it in it's quite different from like a normal iced latte but oh my goodness me is it amazing so i thought i could try and make myself one this morning because it's all that i have been craving since having one yesterday so i'm just going to grab some ice out of the freezer and one thing i would say oh, <laughs> dropping ice on the floor one thing i would say is that i would definitely recommend adding in extra ice on top of the actual blend like that's something they seem to do at costa um make myself the coffee now if you didn't watch the last vlog that i did where i made this basically the way that they do it is like a whipped iced latte it's not so much like a frappuccino but they basically whip a coffee and ice together and that's what gives you that kind of like that like thickness to it so it's not actually the milk that they've whipped up which i quite like that because it means that it's still quite light like it's almost like a really lightweight milkshake let me plug this in and let's see if this works better than the food process why does it always look so gross when there's just ice and coffee in together but let's it. okay looking at that I definitely think that that has blended it up a little bit better than the food processor did. That's looking a little bit more similar to what they create. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think we might have the one. Oh, my goodness. That is looking so good. It looks like really thick. I'm just going to add a couple of pumps of vanilla. I do find that whenever I do an iced coffee, I need to add more syrup than I would normally. Look at how thick that looks. Oh, this looks absolutely amazing. If I have mastered this, then I'm going to be so happy. Let's give it a taste test and see. Oh my goodness. That is literally, that is exactly, mm, exactly like the whipped ice lattes that they used to do at Costa. I mean, look at that like froth i am so happy right now and i didn't even need to whip up the milk it's like quite 
I don't want to say healthy, but it's not like a frappuccino where there's like a lot in there. Like it's quite low cal, which I really, really like because it means I can have it every single day and not feel guilty because it's literally the exact same as I would just have a normal iced latte. So I think I might have nailed that in the Nutri Bullet. So I'm really, really happy about that. I'm going to go and enjoy my iced latte and I need to jump on a corner with my manager. So cheers. Okay. We're sitting down here because despite the fact that I'm talking all things autumn, it is so warm today. I just cannot be upstairs. I do find that because we have quite an old house, I don't know if anyone else finds this, especially with like 1920s kind of style houses, the heat just seems to kind of collect upstairs. And I tried sitting in my bedroom with the air conditioning on and it is just far too loud. So I thought we could sit down here and I can show you the other pieces that I picked up. As I said, I've got a few more autumnal bits to show you. I also forgot to show you that I picked these up yesterday when we were in MS because I'm not gonna lie, I do feel like I kind of I really understand my autumn wardrobe now. What I like wearing, what I like styling, and if there is one thing that I blooming love, it is leggings. Leggings, boots and a jumper, that is just my autumn wardrobe. I absolutely love it. I feel like it's just so classic, so easy to chuck on. You can kind of dress them up or dress them down. And I needed to pick up a couple of new pairs. Now I always love to get my leggings from M&S because they do petite, regular and long. So they always fit perfectly in length. And if you're a short girl like me, you'll know there is nothing worse than that having to like roll your leggings at the end and you get that like bulge around your ankle. It's not cute. And also it's really uncomfortable when you put boots on. So I really like these because they actually fit properly in length. So I picked them up in a 12 short and it's just a two pack of leggings. And these are high rise actually, so they fit quite nicely. I feel like they just kind of sit like around my waist area, which I really, really like. Um, but I just love styling these up with like thick knits, jumpers, cozy knits. I just absolutely love it. I feel like that is just the epitome of my autumnal wardrobe. The next thing is another thing that actually arrived from Amazon yesterday that I've completely forgotten that I'd ordered and I kind of wish I had this to wear yesterday because I'm not gonna lie, I did get quite warm in those knitted um, like jersey ribbed trousers. They're a little bit thick and I've been looking for like the perfect pair that are not ribbed. They're not like knitted or anything like that. They're just these kind of like jersey wide leg trousers and I found these on Amazon and I'm so excited about them because I just love a wide leg trouser i feel like it's so simple in terms of the styling with what i was wearing yesterday again with just like thick chunky knits jumpers like my brow throwing cable knits i feel like all goes so so well with this kind of vibe and this to me is giving like rich mom vibes which i absolutely love it's just so classic and so timeless so i will leave these linked down below because they feel so soft and I have a feeling I'm just going to live in these for the next couple of weeks. Now moving on to the boxes beside me. So I've placed a rather large shoe order. I mean, three boxes. I feel like it's quite a lot when it comes to adding new shoes into your wardrobe, but when it comes to transitional footwear, I have been struggling recently with what I've been wanting to wear. I feel like it can be really, really difficult to transition from summer into like autumn, winter with regards to your footwear because it's not quite warm enough for like open toe sandals, but it's not quite cold enough for boots. And I'm not really a trainer girl. Like I'm not someone that enjoys wearing trainers with all of like my dresses. If I wanted to kind of like dress a little bit smarter, I feel like I've been kind of missing that category in my wardrobe. And if there's one shoe brand that you guys know, I absolutely adore it's Vivaya. If you don't know Vivaya, I worked with them a really long time ago, but this I completely just placed off my own back because I absolutely adore their footwear so, so much. And I live in their shoes in autumn, winter. Pretty much all of my like ankle boots are Vivaya and all of my ballet flats are Vivaya. I just absolutely love them. They are actually a really, really sustainable brand and all of their footwear is made from recycled water bottles, which I just think is so cool. And they're a really, really interesting fabric. They're almost like this kind of like knitted woven fabric, which makes them so comfy. I was really unsure about them at first. I really didn't know how they were gonna be, but they are actually so comfortable because they kind of like mold around your foot. They stretch really, really easily. And especially when it comes to things like ballet flats, they can really rub, especially if you've been like walking all day, your feet start to swell. And the leather, if you've got leather ballet flats, they don't really stretch to your foot, whereas these all stretch. So. I have a few new shoes that I feel like are really going to complete my autumn wardrobe. I feel like there's like absolute staples in my kind of like footwear wardrobe and I'm going to get a lot of wear out of them. So this first pair I'm so excited about because I just feel like these look so much more expensive than they actually are. It's a gorgeous pair of pointed toe little heeled 
what would you call them? Heel ballet flats? Heeled shoes. Oh my goodness, how Chanel are these? Like, how Chanel inspired. I'm absolutely in love with them. And what I was really excited about is, with this pointed toe, again, I can sometimes find it really difficult to kind of, like, get ones that are, like, comfortable for my feet. And actually, I do find the pointed toe in the violet so comfy because this does stretch around your feet. So if you're something you've got, like, wide feet, you're a little bit worried about, like, your pinky toe or anything like that, they stretch so comfortably. And I just love the fact that I have this little heel. Now, they have this in so many different designs and different colorways, but of course, Course, I just had to pick up the classic camel and blacks. I just feel like that looks so classic and so timeless. I also really liked the fact that it had the pointed toe because I do feel like it kind of like adds to the elegance of the shoe and it really helps elongating your leg. If you're a short girl like me, pointed toes are the one because they really help to like elongate your foot, elongate your leg and make you look taller. So I thought this would be perfect for like popping into London if I've got like meetings, anything like that in the autumn. I just thought they were absolutely gorgeous and because i fell in love with the heeled version i'm not gonna lie to you i also picked up the ballet flat version because i thought it would be good to have both in my collection for like different kind of occasions like i do love the heeled ones for when you want to be a little bit more elevated and a little bit more dressed up but particularly for like everyday use the ballet flats are just so so me again love the pointed toe the other ballet flats that i have from Vivaya all have this pointed toe it's more like an almond shape like it's not too pointy it's not too kind of like harsh it's more like soft and round but still really elongating. And I just love how they look. Can you see closely the kind of material that it is? It almost looks like a thick sock, which I think is what makes it so, so comfy. It's got the little V logo there. And then as you can see, it's got like a um, rubber sole, which is really good because it means that they don't slip either. The one time I would say it's not good to wear these is in the rain because they are this knitted fabric. I have worn them in the rain before and your feet do get soaked because they kind of like, they soak in the water. But... As long as it's dry weather these are perfect to wear in the uk and i just thought these would go so well with so many of my like dresses they work really well with wide leg trousers actually those slinky wide leg trousers i could definitely wear with these i think that would work really really well and i just think i'm going to live in these throughout the next coming months i guarantee i'm going to get so many compliments people are just gonna honestly not believe the price of these because they just look so much more expensive than they actually are i've just noticed actually they are quite different because this one it doesn't have the black trim whereas this one does so i feel like they're same same but different which is the epitome of what I love to shop and then the last pair I'm not gonna lie I feel like these are gonna be like my winter pair when I saw these I audibly gasped like I know that sounds so dramatic but I did audibly gasp because these look so Chanel inspired and yet are so affordable considering that they're ethically made you know they're like um recycled materials and things like that I feel like they are a really really good price point and they do last because I've had my other Vivaya shoes for like two years now and I still wear them throughout autumn winter but these I just thought were gorgeous oh my word I feel like especially around like Christmas time when I'm in London I've got lots of events to attend how cute are these going to be start up with like slicked skirts I could even wear these again with like wide leg trousers pleated skirts dresses jumper dresses oh my goodness me I just love the like tweed fabric to it look at that and they also had this shape in this colorway um so depending on what you'd rather whether you'd rather go for like the fully round the more kind of like almond there's loads online so I will leave them all linked down below because there are so many to check out and I honestly could have added about six or seven pairs to my basket I really whittled it down just going for these three but this tweed fabric I just thought would be so so perfect for winter time and it looks so expensive I love the fact that they all have the cap toe I feel like that's really what like elevates them and again elongates your leg so as a short girl I absolutely love that so another gorgeous pet and into my wardrobe that I feel like I'm going to live in throughout autumn winter I really do feel like I've added in some really gorgeous shoes that I'm gonna get my cost per wear out of i'm really really gonna get my use out of it and are gonna be like real key wardrobe staples for me over the next couple of months and going into the new season so i feel like i'm going to leave this vlog here i really hope you guys enjoyed it coming into winchester with me yesterday seeing what i've been picking up and adding into my autumn wardrobe if you got to the end of this video leave the word autumn down below in your comment i feel like we've not done this in such a long time and i always love knowing who makes it to the end so leave the word autumn down below in your comments and i will see you guys in my next one Bye.